from Target Field in Minneapolis. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, Joe Ryan. A very forgettable start his last time out. Was only able to work a couple of innings. We're looking for him to put it all together today. Command, tempo, and just really a confident presence out there on the mound. And now here is Bobby Witt Jr. Bunt attempt, but that goes foul. Bobby Witt Jr., a second-generation big leaguer. His dad won 142 games in the show. The Royals made Bobby Jr. the number two overall pick in the 2019 draft right after Adley Rutschman and he made his debut in 2022 the finish behind Julio Rodriguez Rutschman and Stephen Kwan for rookie of the year great crop of rookies Drew Water stands in and another ball Come through. See you now. Mm. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. One down, base is empty. Still 2 and 2 Good after the foul ball. Good back here. The ball. Time. Got it by him for the K. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start oh, an man. inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base oh, paths, wow. and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two See or three know. run homer. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Ball. Pitch misses there. Ball two. Riding to the plate. <laughs> misses okay. inside. And the count's right. full. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first mm -hmm. inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that wall. Jackie Bradley Jr. a chance to hit. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Next offering is foul back. First and second, two down. Oh. And now the count filled up three and two. Edward Olivares on deck for the Royals. We're going, boys. Come on. It's in the house. Bradley waits. Mm. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. That's not right. Here comes a 3-2. Right side, Kepler under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. It's the Royals nothing. Twin. Bottom of the first. And now for the Twins, Oswald Peraza. The next offering misses. And a count is three and one. And that's through there for a strike. 3 1 count, saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get me over breaking ball to bring the count full. 
And it's ball four. He missed down low. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Here's Byron Buxton. Ground ball right side could be two. Pasquantino over to second, and that's two. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Here's Carlos Correa. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. The pitch. A little bit low. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Scoreless. Back here at the ballpark. Top of the second. And now, Edward Olivares. Edward Olivares. The one two. Two. Clearly he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Back up the... Oh, that got him! Not in time! Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping One that ball. somehow, some way, it'll click, and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. This one high in the air to left center. Buxton sizing it up. Long run, nice grab. Two way down. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Oh, Nothing so better much. than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. The one two swings through that one it's a strikeout that's out number three Royals leave one we'll go to the bottom of the second no score bottom half of inning number two now it's the DH Jorge Polanco Singing, you know, Zach Greinke, a guy that even while he's been playing, he likes scouting amateur talent in person and watching guys on video. Well, in the 2012 year when he was with Milwaukee, he went into their draft room and there was video on the screen of a certain player and he pointed at the screen Greinke did and said, that's the guy you should... Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. Now at the plate, Jose Miranda. The 1-1 is fouled off. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Next Whoa. offering misses. Now 2-2. Two and two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Throws to first, out. and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Ball to strike. That one Ooh, ran boy. inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Swings and misses. That's strike two. And that one missing low.
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One gone runner at first. Max Kepler at the plate. That one pulled foul. Vasquez leads off first with one away. 3 2 now. He missed the zone, but I don't think he missed his spot. That was a good pitch with two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Two away. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the out. Whips it across. That ends the frame. Twins get one on this homer. It's now 1 0. You're watching Kansas City Royals baseball on the show Midwest. Parker, stop being bad. <clears throat> and welcome back. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times, if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Kepler drifts towards it, hauls it in for the out. And here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. The one two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Ball. Battling the shadows is freaking big. Final Got can't. him swinging. Royals back. Back at target field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Trevor Larnick. Swinging a miss. It's two and two. Good eye right there. They all pitch. And he walked him. Oswald Peraza, the next twin up to hit. And a swing and a miss there. Peraza tries to hold up, appeal to first, and Mike Fillmore right on it. He says he held up. 2 2 now. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Swing and a miss. Larnick leads off first with one away. Swings and misses, struck him out. I mean, there are many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about it. And he's got it in right field for the third out, so that'll do it. Twins wind up stranding one, but they still lead it one nothing. Out of the fourth, so up now for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. Salvador. Chris Salvia Tommy John surgery. It seems like more and more position players are having Tommy John surgery. Remember, Corey Seeger had it, Didi Gregorius, Travis Darno, just to name a few. Yeah, he bounced back pretty well from it. He became the comeback player of the year in 2020, the second Royals player to win that award. The other one was Mike Mostakis, his former teammate back in 2017. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now the left fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. 1 1 now. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. He's gotten into a really good okay. rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Got him. Two down. Here's the Royals designated hitter, Edward Olivares. Reached on an infield single his first time. There's a swing and a miss. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. 
usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. Nothing doing for the Royals. Kicks and deals. Just outside. off the outside edge. That pitch in for a strike. And the count's even at two. And the righty deals. Out to short. Witt over to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. And now the first baseman, Jose Miranda. 0 for 1 so far. Out to short. Witt over to first. Two up, two down. Here's Christian Vasquez. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. The 1 1 is fouled off. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Into the outfield base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Both Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, Two but ball. that's a good Let's approach play. paying off. Next Both offering three. is downstairs. Three ball. Let's play. Next oh offering, gosh. pop foul off to the right out of play. Vasquez off of first with two away. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Were we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence is the present. Struck him out swinging. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth and to the play for Kansas City, Nate Eaton. And now the count is even. Some movement in the Twins' bullpen. Jorge Alcala warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Santana getting loose as well. In the dirt. In plenty of time to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Three, two now. Out to short, Correa. Tosses across he's the out. first, and he's out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And that is cut on and One missed. Ball. One Good and strike. two. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that is back in Minnesota. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Trevor Larnick. Check swing, went around two and two. In the air, out towards left center. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. Two two. Ripped to third and caught. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Waters racing makes the catch. Well, really laboring here in the fifth. Next pitch is going to be number 100. Man, you got to think, this is probably his last inning if he can get through this thing. And here comes Carlos Correa. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. This to center field. Waters moving under it. And that's the inning. One left for a minute. And welcome back. Top six. Here's a speed threat. Bobby Witt Jr. That one down the line. Sends it across the first. And Witt is out. And next up for the Royals, Drew Waters. Mm -hmm. 
Next ball. pitch is outside, and that's ball three. three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. So up now for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. He's 0 for 1. Two outs. So now 1 and 2. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Now bad. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Pasquantino leads off first with two down to the inning. Next yep. offering is in for a strike. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers oh, pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Jackie Bradley Jr. Next up for Kansas City. And here it comes. That's out to center field. Buxton moves under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So one left for Kansas City. They trail here, one nothing. Bottom of the six. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. The one one. Pulled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Ripped on the ground a second to first, and Polanco is out. Jose Miranda, the next twin up to hit. Next pitch is downstairs. Out to center. Waters on the move. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. Two outs. Base is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him. Christian Vasquez. Swing and a base hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle. Not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The so three two oh, is oh, off the outside edge, and that is ball four. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, Luke. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Line the other way. That's a fair ball, and down the right field line and towards that corner. The run comes in from second. It's two nothing. Couple of singles back to back. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him to chase on the. That one ripped. It bangs off the wall. In comes the runner from third. It's three zip. Runner holds a third, so just one across on the play. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Farmer, the runner at third, Larner at second with two gone. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. So they turn things over to the righty, Jorge Alcala. And he's had a tough go of it against left-handed batters this year. They've been hitting him hard, so we'll see how he does here. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, these Royals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. 
And now it's even up. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. The pitch. And misses inside. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Line drive, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Digging in, Nate Eaton. Runner leads away at second. One out and a runner at second. That one hit to right. Kepler on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. On the mound now for the Twins, Jorge Lopez. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Isbell checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And yes, he did. Jerry. And now for the twin. This one ends 7 nothing.